Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another special G-Shock watch unboxing and review video. Today, we're gonna have a look at the GWF-D1035B-1 JR. This is the triple sensor fragment from the Gold Tornado series. So before I get to the unboxing, let me just quickly take the box out of the way here. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. and very pleasant smell of a brand new G-Shock Master of G-Watch that I really need to point out as well. The experience of unboxing this model in particular is one of the best. They call this the Gold Tornado family, just in case you guys didn't know. This watch was released somewhere last year on November 2017, making this watch almost half a year old now. And that is how long I have been waiting to unbox this. So that's why it is a very big deal to me. And also, it is at the right time since we just reached 20,000 subscriber goal on the channel and the watch just arrives. This is the price that it came along with the watch I'm holding right now, which indicating all the main feature of this model, short resistance and all those. And it feels different because they did use different papers and also the string came in black now. So this is a tiny little details that I really appreciate because it makes the unboxing experience feels different from when you just unbox a basic model. So thank you very much, G-Shock. A G-Shock Frogman is the toughest G-Shock watch out of all G-Shock watch that have been ever released. And this watch in particular is the cream of the crop, the most premium out of all Master of G, and also in my opinion, the Rolex of a G-Shock watch community. And also one of the most iconic G-Shock watch on the market. And that is why Castle G-Shock placed a fragment on the G-Shock 35th anniversary perfect bubble next to a square. This is the DW6300, the first fragment that was released on the market. Look at that, look at how much they differ and, and that is how iconic this watch is and that's why this watch is a big deal and that's why I'm so hyped up to get one of these. you take the watch right out of the box is the colorway it came in black as the base color and they highlight the watch band a little bit with accents of red the watch band is carbon fiber inserted but since they made the red tone down here solid you couldn't see it but there's a code below the watch band that states that there's a carbon fiber sheets inserted in between this two layer watch band so making this watch tough enough already but they didn't just end over there the watch body is dummy like coated to black colorway it is a screw down case back model and hence giving this tough construction of the watch all of the metal parts all around the watch are ip plated to gold colorway which is very different from basic model that was released before and 
all of this combined really makes the watch looks and feels very premium in my opinion all right moving on a little bit further into the watch engine as you can see it came with a positive display in gold colorway but as far as i could see it is more towards the green hue than gold hue and i also appreciate the fact that changed the writings on top here a usual and basic model will came with casio diver tonometer where in this case we're gonna have a casio since 1983 the first year g-shock was introduced on the market you know what i could spend hours just talking about all the incredible details of the watch but you know what let me just show to all you guys the close-up so that you guys could appreciate this even more back what do you guys think about that in my opinion this watch looks very good for a full digital watch so you're probably already thinking about getting one of this if you are let me tell you guys that the retail price for this watch in japan will be one for eight thousand japanese yen outside of japan it's gonna be like 1100 us dollars but that is at retails but if you look for it long enough you will find it below retails it's much lower cost so it's all up to you if you're lucky enough then you might be able to save some money but keep in mind this watch is limited edition it is very popular among g-shock fans even if you don't liking this watch after you get this over time you will always be able to flip it back and gain a huge portion of your money back so that's pretty cool idea right in my opinion if you're still thinking about getting one of this let me just quickly run through what else that you are going to get out of the money that you paid to get one of this at home time we're gonna have a look at day of the week date and also time display and also power indicator moon face and minutes uh, display to synchronize with this second part and also g logo for wave sensor synchronization successful or not pressing mode will bring us to lock memory 20 of them this will synchronize to your dive mode next will be recall this will be all this information recorded using this record button on here is a temperature compass or dive mode or even timestamp press mode again we'll go to a stopwatch mode one over 100 precision all the way to 100 hour range next will be a countdown timer all the way to 24 hour range next will be alarm 5 alarm including snooze and signal next will be real time 48 series 31 time zones next will be a temperature mode specifically just for that next will be the tide graph hourly tide and also moon age next will be recall function this is where you could manually receive the wave set if you want to do so when the watch successfully received the signal a g logo will appear in the eye next mode will be home time pressing compass button will quickly access to the 16 directional compass and this compass will keep continue operating for 60 seconds as well and you could record this data using this record button like so pressing mode will go back to home time and press the mode and hold it instead will brings us into the dive mode in here it will shows you how much depth that you have already went using the depth meter it will automatically start recording your surface time and also dive time when you go diving all on its own and you could operate the button to access the compass it will become a 20 second compass only and also operate the light button if you want to do so this watch will automatically 
alert you when you reach over the range of 80 meters and also have a special function called the ascent alert or descent alert just for safety precaution pressing mode and hold it again to bring you back to home time and that's pretty much it as far as the function and this will be the light within to glow the led light two of them which will look pretty bright glowing from three o'clock position I believe I already made a tutorial video on how to operate this watch. This is the Casio 3445 engine watch. So if you want to know the details, go check that video out. But to conclude everything, this watch in my opinion is just a triple sensor equipped dive timer with a solar and wave scepter function built in it. Since this is a dive timer, that really explains why Casio made this watch to be as big as it is because it was intentionally made to be worn over a diving suit. But if you are not a diver at all, which I'm certainly most of you guys are, and even if you are a diver, I don't think you're gonna be wearing this over your diving suit at all because this is a limited edition. You want to take care of this watch as much as possible. This is more like a collectible things more than a functional things, of, although it could do all those. But anyway, guys, before I proceed with the wrist check, let me just show you guys. This is also a dive timer g-shock watch mrg 1100 if you want something that looks a little bit more classy something that is small something that actually look like a watch get something like this instead amazing features but smaller in size let me put this aside so this watch is very very big if i'm gonna be wearing this i'm most likely gonna be wearing it host number three from the top but for the sake of this video let me just show you guys at if i'm gonna be wearing this at hose number two from the top because this is already fit enough snug enough already for me and look at that the fitting on this on my wrist is very very good surprisingly very good and it's feel very snug except a downside of this tongue extended part on the side here so that's why i usually wear my watch either at hose number three or number four or sometimes if i really want to wear this watch i will usually wear it with a long sleeve shirt to mask of how big the size is and let me show you guys what it looks like all right that's it looks pretty normal now but if you're just curious of how big or how small it is i'm gonna make a size comparison video as i always did before on this channel just to quickly run through about the size so that will be on another video but for now let me just show to you guys of how good or how bad this watch gonna look like on my skinny wrist up all the things that I could share about this gold tornado dive timer G-Shock Rockman watch right now. I hope you guys found all of the clips that I made a little bit useful and I hope you guys learned a thing or two about this watch in particular and also entertained as well. Thank you very very much for your support. Thank you very very much for subscribing and most importantly I would like to personally thank to all of my patron for backing me up in my patreon page. And for all of you as well, thank you very, very much for watching again. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel, and I'm... Um